That ain't telling you you didn't listen. Because a charismatic group one time was saying that what we sin in our flesh and we worship God in your spirit, you was a double-minded man. Mm -hmm. The Bible said a double-minded man is a single in all of his ways. In other words, Paul said all the sin that lies in me that coming against me, God gave me the victory over through Jesus Christ. He said, because it's in my flesh. And my flesh only recognizes the law of sin. My spirit recognizes the law of righteousness. Then Paul went on to say, but there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ, Jesus has made me free. Listen, from the law of sin and death. Can I get an amen? amen? Can I get a whoop whoop? How, woo-woo. Hallelujah. Somebody better say amen. Amen. People, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Everything that we fight, everything that we go through, Jesus took it on the cross for us. And he died for us in order for us to be able to be whole. Stop dipping and diving and sin, chucking and jiving, doing this and that because you trying to please somebody else. Amen. You are in up in captivity in hell. Amen. This sister, y'all can do what y'all want to do. I ain't going to hell for nobody. Amen. Especially when you have seen what hell look like. Amen. When I was a little girl, I never will forget when I was seeking God and how, oh my God, and this, and I was calling out the name of God, and that devil was right there. Oh my God, I guess I was in about, about the sixth grade, seeking God, and that devil did not want to turn me loose. And my mother, she prayed for me. And my mother told me, she said, You call on the name Jesus. And, and I saw that picture. Of that devil came up in front of my face and smoke was just coming up. And I saw that. And when I saw that and I started calling on Jesus and asking him to help me. Because that devil wanted to steal me and, and kind of deter me from my purpose in life. The devil will change you. Get you away from your purpose in life. Then you're going to fight depression. Then you're going to fight all of the things that what the flesh allowed you to inhabit. Can y'all understand that? God has come. God sent his only begotten son. This is what this season is all about. Jesus coming into this world. Born of a virgin Mary. Amen. Amen. And he was born and he died on the cross for you and I. So we don't have to suffer in sin. And we don't have to do what's wrong in the eyesight of God. And let me me tell you, while I'm talking, I see God pinpointing things in in each and every one of y'all lives. I, I can see it. And God is saying to you, if you need help with this, my brother, my sister, he said, lay it on the altar. Everybody stand on the feet. Hallelujah.